Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here. Getting his walk on a little late today. <clears throat> it's 6.30 in the evening. Whew. So we had a long, busy, crazy day today. As uh, a lot of you might know if you keep up with my channel. I had to go see a cancer specialist. Uh, he deals more with the blood and all that kind of stuff, I believe. Uh, I forget their name. They have a certain name that deals with blood. But, anyway. So, you know, I got up super early this morning. Got in my bike spin. I ate. Did my bus route in the morning. Got home. Shoved some eggs and a little leftover ground turkey mixture together. And uh, shoved that down my throat real quick. And we were out of the house by 7.25 or 7... 29 somewhere in there so it was really quick all the way to jackson over an hour away because i do the speed limit <clears throat> i'm a good boy so the process at the doctor's office was very easy uh well put together and ran everything was good uh finally seen the doctor and of course i had to get blood work done and uh, then I seen the doctor, and uh, the blood work was all there and everything. They did it all in-house. So he tells me that, I guess the good news is, he really don't see anything that's cancerous. That, that raises his concern as far as cancer. But he wants to do more tests than that on my liver. Uh, my liver count is down or whatever he said my liver is about 90 percent so it's kind of strange i don't know why but uh i mean i'm 50 years old if my liver is at 90 percent i mean if i lived to 100 then it'll probably be at 80 percent i don't know but it could be you know anything so he had me go do more blood work so i had to go back downstairs in the office do more blood work so they could run further more in-depth tests and he scheduled he scheduled me another i have to go get an ultrasound and uh and all that done on my liver area and i think my spleen area something like that they're gonna do a big ultrasound and just check things out and go back again for more blood work and that I think in November, I don't know, I kind of lost track of what was going on. <laughs> Got it all wrote down. But, uh, I mean, I left feeling better. I'm not too worried about my liver, to be honest. I mean, if it's at 90%, I mean, did it go down 10% over the last 50 years? Is it something that happened within the last year or the last 10 years? Who knows? I don't know. So that's why I'm saying, I mean, you know, if I lived to 100, well, maybe it'll just be down to 80%. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we got home from that. I got home early enough, luckily just in time to shove some lunch down my pie hole, which was a couple of lean ground turkey wraps or burritos, however you want to look at it. So I ate those and I did my afternoon route. And on the way home from my afternoon route, I get a call from my wife. <clears throat> she uh, she was in town, went to get her check, and, and uh, where she works, the bank is right across the street in our town. So she was leaving work, and uh, she left there to go pick her check up, and went across the street, and pow, tire blew. <laughs> so... She's calling me. Of course, I can't really answer the phone. I'm on the, you know, I'm on the bus. I can't really get on the phone. But anyway, come to find out, whew, she just called over to her place of employment there. There were some people there, and a girl's husband was there, and they ran over there and helped change the tire. So, all of that while I'm, I finally get home, and then I finally talk to her and all that, and I find out that's what happened, and. uh so all this is going on 
plus I still have to work out so I get home from my bus in the afternoon right on schedule I do everything as normal no matter what ate my pre-workout super protein packed oats and uh getting ready to work out and she gets home and, and all that stuff so I get my workout in get that done and uh so then after that uh, I didn't even eat after that which is not what I normally do I was so I ran out to the store I had to stop and put air in, in that donut tire which was two dollars two dollars to start that machine up to give me air I almost wanted to kick the thing in half then go to Walmart and take forever there I get home I throw me some food real quick in, a, in my iron skillet I just throw some chicken tenders in there get some water off in there get them cooked and then I throw some noodles off in there and I have me a little bit of chicken pasta I just let it all cook in the same pan so anyway I just got done with that so I'll get out here to get my uh, walk done also I had a really good bench today I actually went up five pounds I know that's not a lot but five pounds you know I get excited if I go up five pounds on a deadlift so I'm gonna get excited if I go up five pounds on my bench I felt even though the day was insane and non-stop and I didn't even get my morning nap in because I had to you know had to be out of town so but uh yeah I had a good bench day I got 345 pounds one rep now that's my new PR my old PR from 2010 was 375 so I'm trying to chase that old PR hoping to get there one day I've met all my expectations and all my other lifts I'm super proud of myself and uh, by the time once I get done with everything like once I finally get my bench PR I'll do a little video and kind of show all the clips of me hitting all my PRs and stuff on all my lifts. So that'd be cool. Anyway, guys. Good Lord, I'm stuffed. You see, even in a day whenever you're, you know, you're running all over the place and, you know, having to go out of town, over an hour drive there and over an hour back and doctors and tires blowing out and you're broke as heck because you're checking in the bank yet and uh, all this stuff going on Ooh, I got a brother-in-law that's dying of cancer I got a nephew I just found out whose lung has collapsed <laughs> my oldest son has diabetes we got a lot going on in my family all of a sudden a lot You know but I still got it done I'm just not I'm not gonna let anything deter me and uh, give me a reason and an excuse to not do my thing also guys let's not forget that I also did a it's kind of private it's kind of weird but I'll tell you I did like a, a stool, I had to do a stool sample thing to send in uh, where they check for cancers and stuff in your, in your solids. Not that mine's solid really, but anyway, so we're still waiting on that and uh, hopefully I'll be hearing something back from that as well. And uh, as long as we can shut down any chances any feelings of like cancer I'm good I can deal with most of the stuff but you know cancer is one of those things that 
it'll knock you down. I've seen it. <laughs> That's not good. Cancer's never good. No matter what kind of cancer you get. So, hopefully I'll be hearing back from that pretty soon. You know, my wife tells me, hey, I got a flat. Okay, oh, what do you want me to do? You know, well, luckily she got, you know, someone was there to help her. You know, work one car family. So, anyway, she got that taken care of, luckily, uh, thanks to some co workers. Anyway, guys, I just I wanted to fill everybody in on my whole day. It's been a extremely busy day, roller coaster of emotions and different things and all that good stuff. I hope everybody has a good night, good tomorrow, all that good stuff. I want to say thanks if you made it this far thanks to all my subscribers <clears throat> and uh, just all those that watch any you know random people that watch my videos and stuff even the trolls the hateful people I appreciate it you don't really bother me hey you're giving me watch time I'm all good with that I'm gonna get this walk continued and done I got a long ways to go still like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. Whew. Hope you make it through another day. Hope I make it through another day. And just stay positive, guys. All right. Get up, get out, get red. And do it to it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!